Hey guys, I wanted to bring you back to the mall that started this channel in 2019. Chesapeake Square Mall in the Western Branch section of Chesapeake, Virginia. I recently looked at that first video and after cringing at my first video attempt, I realized that there are changes in the mall and figured after four years, it was worth revisiting. I also want to thank the 555 subscribers to my channel. It means a lot to me that you guys think enough of the content I am trying to put out enough to subscribe and come back for more. I hope I don't disappoint. If you are new to my channel, click like and subscribe to the channel. And if you don't want to miss another video, smash the notification bell so you are alerted to new content. To be fair to the mall, a lot of the stores were not open before 11. When I finished this walkthrough, I was seeing several stores come to life shortly after 11. However, you can tell which stores are gone because there's nothing in the windows and they probably got black tarp up behind the gate. However, the mall cops in this mall are vigilant as always. This is the only mall that I have recorded so far that I've had trouble uh, being spotted, recording, and being asked to leave. So when you see me cut to a different angle or a different part of the mall, I was uh, trying to get away from the mall cops. And at least this time, no one came up to me and demanded I leave the mall. So I consider that a success. When I visited the mall in the fall of 2019 to do my first video, Chesapeake Square Mall had been sold after going into foreclosure to Cotterides Holdings, which is headquartered in Virginia Beach, Virginia, for $12.9 million. Shortly thereafter, we had the pandemic, which has hit malls the hardest, and we saw nothing happening except for more empty storefronts. With no noticeable changes taking place, the only words that were being used to describe Chesapeake Square Mall was, it's dying and won't be around much longer.
western side of the mall, which housed Sears and Macy's, is completely empty and is roped off, preventing walkers from accessing any part of the western end of the mall. I will have a link to that first video at the end of this one where you can see the change from four years ago and hopefully how much better my video taking and editing skills have improved since then. J.C. Penney's lease was not renewed by the mall and the reason was upcoming redevelopment. Although I did find it strange you have a big box retailer wanting to stay and you don't keep them, but I'm not privy to the actual plans. The owners are planning on spending $20 million in the next two years redeveloping that side of the mall. And from what I have been hearing, they plan on tearing the entire western side of the mall down in the process. They say that retail will always be a part of the property, but the future calls for more entertainment and dining options. The owners of the mall are also building single-family homes, townhomes, and luxury apartments surrounding the mall. So imagine a reimagined mall, a mega warehouse, and a brewery called Destination Western Branch. It's the vision of the owner for more than 500 acres surrounding the area that meets Interstate 664. The area with the brewery is to be called the Grove. And from what I've been able to read, it does appear the city of Chesapeake approved the project after concerns were raised about a local elementary school facing overcrowding. A new replacement school was being built and that's just been completed. And there appears to have been a request that was made that 800 home units would remain vacant until the completion of that school. Now with the recent addition of an Amazon warehouse about a mile or so from the mall and another robotic Amazon warehouse in Suffolk, Virginia, a couple of miles further, it does appear there will be housing growth opportunities and new blood for the mall complex. Outside of the mall, the owners purchased the old Toys R Us building and demolished it, making way for retail and dining options. So far, I have heard that a Mission Barbecue will be coming, but I don't have other names at this time. They also purchased the land that houses Office Max to have control over that property. Uh, Office Max leases the building.
If you're enjoying this content and haven't done so, click that like button. Help uh, YouTube share this video with more people. And if you would, subscribe and click the notification bell so you will know when new content is available. There's also a Golden Corral outside of the mall, which closed during the pandemic and is preparing for an auction of all inside contents later in February. I have not read anything to suggest the owners of the mall have also purchased that property. There is also an empty Pier 1 Imports building and there is no information about what is going on with that property at this time. Now directly behind the mall, all the way in the back, uh, they've recently opened a new multi-story senior apartment complex for those 65 and over. And in front of that, where the old movie theater used to be located, uh, a Veterans Affairs Health Services Center is supposed to be coming in, uh, I believe within the next couple of years. Will Chesapeake Square survive in a redeveloped form? Or are the retail experts correct that it won't survive? Only time will tell. The owners want this to be a draw for people to buy homes in this area and have entertainment and dining options for them. They are putting all of their money on the line. I hope they succeed. It would be nice to see a property beat the odds and continue to operate. We will have to wait and see what the changes bring to Chesapeake Square. Thanks for watching as always. Please like this video. And if you want to know when more content is available, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Until next time, stay safe and we will see you again soon. Is it a love?